Hello everybody and welcome back to the Forget Me Not Garden. Um, so today I'm just going to say firstly a huge, huge thank you to everybody who commented on my last video because um, I really didn't know how to plant up the wildlife pond and I couldn't really understand why the plants were floating and they weren't, um, they weren't, you know, staying in the pond. And a, a few of you really kindly commented and just said I needed to weigh it down and probably get some pond baskets. So that's what I've done. Um, so if I just show you really quickly now um, what it looks like. Um, I didn't film replanting it because obviously I've already done that. Um, I just wanted to show you following your comments and very kind um, suggestions what it looks like now and it's perfect so thank you so today i'm actually going to plant up round the pond i just want to give a shout out to ali at rusty gardener's place um because she made an absolutely brilliant brilliant suggestion about planting up the herb garden with some rocks logs and also some little plants and pots and i thought yes amazing so that's what i'm going to do today but one of the things i've always wanted to grow is mint and mint has a tendency to spread so if you plant mint in the garden and you haven't got it in the pot it's fine but it will just just spread um it'll go wild um so plant it in the pot and when she suggested it i just thought mint um so yes it gave me the idea to plant up a herb garden round the pond which is something I've always wanted to have at the plot um, and now obviously that bed is going to be a herb garden slash pond bed um, which is brilliant so thank you Annie for that suggestion so that's what I'm going to do today so I've got a few plants to pot up today so we've got some rosemary that I'm going to put in and this is going to go at the back I've got two types of rosemary so I've got two types of rosemary so I've got this one and I've also got a rosemary trailing. So this is going to go at the front. So it just trails over the front of the raised bed. Hopefully giving something, you know, a little climb up as well. Um, what else have I got? Uh, so I've got some thyme, thyme lemon. Okay, so that's going to go in. I've got some chives. I love chives. These are just really purple. I love purple. Um, and what else have I got? Oh, and of course, the mint. So I like spearmint. I just love it. <laughs> the smell. Oh, I just, I just love it. I just love mint. And, you know, you can put it in, you know, a glass of water. You can put it in pims. Got your nose now. Um, <laughs> you, can, um, you can put it in anything really um, but really really good to just chop it up when you're cooking your peas fab um, what have I got yes yeah, so that, that's it I think yeah oh and some oregano so I use a lot of oregano because I cook a lot of pastas and things like that so this would be really nice to sort of put in there so yeah that's what I'm planting today so, let's get on.
just remembering to so just remembering to keep the mint in the pot so plant it in the ground in the pot great idea Ali I nearly forgot. <laughs> right. Well, as I say, that is the herb garden uh, planted up now, um, which I'm really pleased with. Really pleased with because, um, which I'm really pleased with because. I've wanted to do this for a while and probably about six months and I've just kind of put it off because I didn't know how to do it or things like that so I would just encourage anybody if you're thinking about doing it and you want to do it just do it because you'll get there eventually a trial and error and you know people will help you along the way and you'll get there you'll get the end result and and this is it and this is the end result and I'm so happy with it. So happy, it just looks great. Um, I'm just really glad I did it. Plus I've got my herb garden. So the two things I've been saying I'm gonna to add to the plot, my herb garden, my pond, ticked. <laughs> Job done. So really happy. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the greenhouse um, and show you what's actually growing in the greenhouse at the moment. Because there's quite a few things still in here and um, a few things that I just need to get out um, but overall there's quite a few things still in here so firstly um, the pumpkins so these were green a few weeks ago and they've actually really yellowed up nicely so if any of you have got pumpkins that are not quite ripe just take them somewhere cool and look they'll, they'll be great um, they will freshen up nicely so I'm just going to actually put him up here because it's a little bit wet down there and I don't want him to rot but these were both green and as you can see it sounds hollow as you can see he's he's nice <laughs> I like him so yeah happy with him um, and the same for things for the squash so this was a spaghetti squash you might remember it was a little bit not quite ripe still not quite ripe still a little bit green but just leave it for a little bit longer and it, it will ripen up I assure you um, so yeah they're all, all good and this is one actually pretty much you can see I'll bring it in you can see it's actually really kind of oranged up now and this is a two spaghetti squashes so just leave them for a bit and I'm just going to leave that one sun facing up the same and it will it will ripen off um, and then I've got some strawberries so these are late strawberries so they are they are for now um, which is really nice because they're fruiting and they've actually got runners coming off them so with strawberries you can propagate the runners I'm not going to do that because this is the first year they've been in pots so I'm just actually going to cut them off but as you get runners like like what you've got here then um, you can just cut the runner off and you've got yourself another strawberry plant um, then here I've got some pak choy so this pak choy is further ahead and uh, this is one of the pots of pak choy I've got some red and green in here and it's it's really come on nice it's the first time that I've got pak choy that's not bolted so perfect and this pak choy is just a little bit behind I plotted this on you know, a couple of weeks ago so um, that's just a little bit further behind then in the pot alongside it we've got some radicchio um, so the radicchio also looking really nice now um, not had radicchio and grown it before so it'd be interesting to see a what it tastes like and b you know be what it's like <laughs> um so yeah that would be nice 
Um, and then coming over here, we've got the chilies. So a lot of the chilies are kind of green. So if you take a look at this chili here, um, it it's green. It's um, not ready. So I'm just going to see if they ripen up a little bit. Um, but yeah, these chilies are coming to the end now. But I've left them in here because a there's some, still some flowers. Um, but secondly, there are still some chili chilies that are waiting to go green. So going to see what they do. Um, but yes, that is um, that is the greenhouse for now. So yeah, really chuffed uh, with everything going on down here. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be mulching the beds. Um, just really getting this no dig underway now. Um, now I've decided to, to go for no dig. Um, and actually these pumpkins I just showed you, they came from a no dig garden. Um, so it was really heavily manured, really kind of prepared, cardboard manure on top. And yeah, I've only got two, but they're great. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally converted. So yes. Thanks for watching everyone, um, lovely to see you all as always, um, give it a like if you really liked the video, um, I hope you do, but other than that, that's me done for this week again and I'll see you later, take care, bye.